I get this urgent call for help frequently. Your phone's been hacked. What do you do next? Well, first, don't panic. We've got you covered. I'm Kurt the CyberGuy. Follow me at CyberGuy.com. That's where my newsletter is free. Now, let's walk through what you need to do to regain control and protect yourself in this situation. First things first, let's kick that hacker out of your device. You're going to want to power cycle your phone. That means turning it all the way off, then powering it back on. Now, run a malware scan using strong antivirus software. If that doesn't do the trick and your phone is still acting weird, you may need to do a full factory reset. I know it's a pain, but it's better than letting the hacker stick around. Now, here's a crucial tip. Don't rush to change your passwords just yet. If your device is still compromised, the hacker could see your new passwords and we'd be back to square one. So make sure your phone is clean first. Now, once you're sure your device is secure, it's time to protect your assets. You're going to want to look to identity theft companies that can monitor personal information like your social security number or your phone number and email addresses to see if they can alert you if it's been sold on the dark web or is appearing in sketchy places. They can also assist you in freezing your bank or credit card accounts to prevent further unauthorized use by criminals. Next up, let's secure your financial accounts. Update those passwords and enable multi-factor authentication. You might want to do your banking in person for a while if this has happened to you just to be safe. Now, don't forget about your driver's license and social security account. Most DMVs have forms you can submit to check for potential fraud. Also, create a My Social Security account online to monitor your reported wages and income. Now, let's talk taxes. Get an identity protection pin from the IRS. It'll help verify your identity when you file and prevent fraudsters from filing in your name. Also, consider using passkeys instead of passwords for your online accounts. They're more secure and can't easily be stolen in a data breach. A passkey is like a unique digital fingerprint stored on your device that unlocks your accounts without you needing to remember or type anything. Remember, dealing with a hacked phone can be stressful, but taking these steps, they're going to help you regain control and protect your identity moving forward. For more ways to protect your identity online, head to cyberguy.com identitytheft. And while you are there, sign up for my free newsletter.